classic heavy metal style riffs that's pretty simple for the most part. We're just playing some single notes. We've got some palm muting going on here. Uh, we're playing all downstrokes, but there are a couple of little nuances to this riff that I think is going to be interesting for you to learn because it's going to give you something to think about when writing your own riffs. And you guys know I am all about you writing your own riffs and just bringing out the creativity that's already within you. That's the point of most of my YouTube videos. So real quick, this is the bridge to a song called Believe from my latest album, Overcometh. Now, if you caught the last lesson we just did a couple of weeks prior to this one, that was the verse part. So you'll notice this is in an entirely different key. I'll put a link to that lesson in this video as well. So you can go check that out later if you haven't seen it yet. But let's get right to this. Now, of course, hang around after the lesson. We always have our cool and interesting little guitar chat. <laughs> We are in standard tuning, most of you guys know that. Now, let's just call out a few simplicities here. We're only playing on the E and the A strings, okay? That simplifies things. The frets that we're playing, I'm gonna call all those out. Again, I'm gonna throw up the tabs as we go through this. So the frets, of course, we've got the open E string, and on the E string, we've got two, three, and five, okay? We're also gonna play the second fret of the A string. We're also, at one point, gonna play frets three and five on the A string. That's it, guys. We just simplified the riff. I like to do that in the beginning, and I hope that helps you before we get into the actual notes. I hope that helps you kind of wrap your head around things like, oh, okay, well, that's not many notes, man. All right, the lesson. The easiest way to show you this is to break this down into chunks, and I'll put up the tabs along the way instead of trying to explain each part, okay? There are some tiny little nuances that make this riff really interesting. We'll talk about those when we get to them. So. I'm going to slow this down, the tabs are going to be here for you, and let's just go through this. is you'll notice we start out by palm muting that open E string twice in between the fretted notes there until we get to that fifth fret. Then we go right back to the open string. We kind of like break the cadence just a little bit going right back to the open string, kind of almost throwing you off guard a little bit. It's one of those things in writing. It's like, okay, we're playing it one way, but let's do like a little little change here. And it just kind of catches you. It catches your attention, if you will, okay? And then that's when we head over to the A string. So let's play that part really quick here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And there's another little nuance right after that, so. That part right there. And after that, we do something else a little interesting as well, this part right here. Very simple, three, five, three, five, that's it. <laughs> three, five on E string, three, five on the A string. And we get that little squeal in there. I've got my gain turned down for the lesson here. If you got higher gain, you can get that squeal. I've got another video where I talk about the squeals. So I'll leave a link to that video in the description here as well. So that's pretty much it for that part. Now, the second time around, we do the same thing, but we end differently. And actually, it's much more simple. So this is the final part. All we do is end on a C and a D. Okay, that's it. Instead of this, we do this. Now, what I want to do is just go through the entire thing. I'm going to throw the tabs up. We'll go through it, you know, semi-slow, and then I'll get it back to the normal speed after that. But I'll have the tabs up for you here, okay?
it's time for our usual guitar chat, guys. But first, if you do not have my free practice guide, Metal Riffs and Licks, grab a copy of that. That has literally helped thousands of guitar players here on my YouTube channel. And I give that away to all of my YouTube subscribers. So there's a link in the description of the video to get a copy of that. If you already have my practice guide, and hey, check out my online guitar courses on metalmastermind.com. If you're just starting out or you need to revisit the fundamentals of metal guitar, I've got a course called Metal Guitar Apprentice. If you're beyond that point, you just want to learn some new riffs in different keys and just implement a variety of techniques, then check out my course called Metal Riff Master. Links for all that good stuff is in the description of this video. Now to say that's Metallica inspired, yeah, you could probably say that. I mean, hey, they were they were it for me, man, back in like uh, 88, 89. I picked up guitar in 89, uh, but I, I picked up uh, Puppets and Justice, those cassette tapes, probably around the end of 88, maybe beginning of 89. Most of you know my story. If you don't, grab my book on Amazon. It's called Heavy Metal and Weights by Jason Stallworth. Uh, a lot of you can relate to that book because you got a very similar story. But in any case, though, just kind of a classic heavy metal style riff. Again, pretty simple to play. What I want you to do though, is I want you to expand on that riff. See what you can come up with, throw some off notes in there, you know, just see what you can come up with. That's what I always encourage you guys to do. I love the fact that you learned the stuff I put out here, but the real reason I do these lessons is to encourage you to expand on that. I believe that there's a difference between learning a riff and then writing a riff. And a lot of times the, the riffs we write, they're kind of like, I don't know, they, they kind of like come from way down under, you know, from all the riffs that we've heard over the years, right, and over the decades in my case. And it's just sort of our own version of the things that have inspired us. And it's not that you didn't create it, you did. But again, all creation comes from an inspiration of some sorts. Even if that creation, it may not sound anything like that, but any like modern metal band, think of the latest metal band you've listened to, well, if you dig deep enough, you'll catch some of those inspirations that you know inspired them. And that's how the music evolved. That's how they created that piece. So I'm all about you taking a riff, whether it be mine or someone else's, and changing it. Change something up, play a different note, play it a different way, play it backwards, play it in a different spot on the fretboard. You can do all kinds of stuff with that. And then that will take you on this journey to really creating something completely different that's yours based on something that hey, inspired you. So I encourage you, write your own riffs as much as you possibly can, guys. Uh, by the way, if you didn't catch the first lesson for this song, again, this is Believe off my latest album, uh, I'll put that video up there, so go check that out. And hey, if you'd like to see the lyric video for this song, check it out up there. The lyrics are pretty powerful. And of course, when the next lesson's available, it'll be down there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, keep it metal and keep playing music.